This two-part video series had some trial and error. The first time I went to go shoot, I was running late, got stopped by a train, and when I finally arrived, the parking lot was full. Take two looked doubtful because I woke up that morning and it was foggy out. I had no idea it was going to be foggy, and on top of a mountain, sometimes the clouds linger for longer, which meant there might not be any views to share with you guys. But to my surprise, the fog lifted, and it turned out to be one of the most beautiful days I've seen in a long time. So here's part one of enjoying a fall day on Mowbray Mountain. See, when I drove by here the other day, the parking lot was full. Today, I'm the only one here. As you can see, it's a very small parking lot. Just for reference, I have yet to hike past the creek because I can't figure out how the trail goes. And now that I have some more hiking experience, I think I could probably figure it out. So we are here at the Mowbray Road trailhead. And so that creek right there the trail continues on this direction and I just can't ever find it. So one of these days, we'll continue on that trail and we'll go, maybe we'll park a car at the other trailhead up there and just walk from those two. That would be a fun hike. So there's two creek crossings there. That'll be for another time though, not today. <laughs> It's been so long since I've done a hike in the morning like this and it's freezing <laughs> like it's 37 it's probably a little bit warmer now it might be 40 but oh it's just like so cold all of a sudden and I love it my favorite thing is I shouldn't run into any spider webs hopefully we'll see this trail is notorious that if no one's been down it spiders like to build their webs across the trail so We'll see. <laughs> I'm so excited to share this with y'all. Like, you don't even know. This is like my absolute favorite place here. Like, this little trail section that I do, and then just driving over Mowbray Mountain, especially in the fall, looking at all the leaves. Like, there's nothing better, in my opinion. <laughs> so I'm sharing one of my absolute favorites with you guys. I, I've been coming to this trail and the other trail that we'll go to shortly um, for years, pretty much since I've lived here. I stumbled across both of them and would visit very often. Hardly hiked anywhere else besides like Signal Point. So this is just like 
It's like taking you guys down a trip of memory lane. <laughs> I, uh, I just love this place. And I hope you do too. It is not quite peak yet here, um, so I believe a lot of these leaves will kind of change colors a little bit more. So by the time you're watching this video, it's time to go. And that was my goal with this whole thing, <laughs> was to come like early enough that y'all have time to still like really get out and enjoy this, but also late enough that there's colors to show you, which is a really, really hard thing to do. I think that's the most challenging thing that I try to do every fall is plan that. Like I almost have to plan ahead and do a year in advance like share like go ahead and capture everything this fall and then share it next fall then at peak so but i like to try to be more current than that so this is what you're getting <laughs> So there used to be water that ran through here every time, this little creek, and it took me forever to cross here because I'd want to like jump from like here to there, and even though it's not a long distance, I felt like I couldn't do it, even though I could. It took me forever to cross, but these days, it hasn't, I haven't seen much water in here in years, so it's funny how things change like that over time, over years. I think I just saw a deer. And I was freaking out and like calling to the others that are in the area to run, basically. I've never heard that sound before, so I was like confused and scared for a moment because I'm like, I think there's like some bobcats and stuff like that up in this area too, so being here alone, I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to run into that. But I saw something over there and it looked like a deer, but it was like a little bit further back. But it was like the sounds it was making. I'll have to look that up and see if deer make that sound because it's like a warning call. I've never heard that before and then it ran off this direction because I think it saw me and heard me things you see <laughs> when you're out here by yourself <laughs> made it to the bluff uh this spot you're like directly under these power lines and you can hear them like buzzing and it's kind of scary <laughs> but it's what they do and then you can hear you hear that that's the creek that's like right over there which we'll be going to shortly so i'm out here taking photos and stuff and i keep hearing the deer over there where i was where i know that deer is so like, the trail's right in there and i'm i hear it like scraping its hooves every once in a while and like <laughs> snorting almost like I'm actually, I'm actually kind of scared because I'm like I think it's a male and um I hope I don't cross it because it'll probably kill me <laughs> like deer are dangerous I think a lot of people don't realize that like if they're getting like yeah they're usually skittish and run away from you but if they feel like really threatened they will attack you so yeah I don't want to be stomped to death by a deer <laughs> so we're going to continue on this direction that's where we came from um, all right, over here, we're gonna go to the creek. So this is the actual trail. People go down there. Gets you messed up. <laughs> this is the actual trail. That's just kind of overlooks the creek.
So there's a spot up here where you can get down there easier to get closer to the water. That's what I do. That's right around here. So there's that way. That's a little steep and slick because of the leaves. You can go around this way. So the trail continues on that way. Oh, that's some pretty leaves. There's these big rock formations. But this way, you can get right down to the creek bed. There's a few spots further downstream that you can get there too, but this is the more popular one. It's a little bit steep, but it's totally doable. People like to camp down here. They'll camp under these. It's, I would love to do that. It's really neat. Looks like a really neat spot. And you have rock cover to help keep you warm. <laughs> but I thought, I totally expected to see people camping here today, but nobody's here. Hello. There's the bridge where we were. Can you see now why this is one of my favorite places? Like, when the water's low enough, you can get them all the way out to here. Uh, these rocks are still really slick. They've still got a lot of green on them, so you should be careful. But in the summer months, sometimes it gets this low, but it just depends on the rainy season and everything. But, oh man, I just, I love this spot. And it's, I just love how easily accessible it is. And then it's not very busy very often. <laughs> That's where I was down there. I hate to leave. I wouldn't stay here all day. Nobody's here. Still nobody's shown up. So like, and it's definitely warmed up some. Out on the bluff where the sun was shining on you, it was warm. It felt good. <laughs> but the trail continues that way. And this is usually where I turn around though. Uh, it's a very short, easy hike. I see little kids out here doing it all the time. So it's definitely a family friendly area and then the summertime is nice to go down to the creek and kind of play in the creek a little bit. The only downside is it's slippery so because it's big flat rocks so just be careful if you do that in the summertime but oh this is a beautiful fall hike area. Love it. Goodbye, my favorite spot. And just like that, back out to the bluff. Oh, it's such a pretty day. Up being really clear, you can see the mountains in the distance. So it's slightly uphill on the way back. <laughs> I'm out of breath because I'm just kind of almost half running it. Here come more people. We made it back. Yay. I'm out of breath because I pushed myself on that hill. 
because it's short enough, so not that big of a deal. That concludes this section of today, which is the Saudi segment of the Cumberland Trail, the Mowbray Road Trailhead. All of this info will be in my blog post, which will be linked below for you. That concludes part one of the series. Please take out the tape and flip it over to enjoy part two. <laughs> If you're old enough to get that reference, please give this video a like and comment down below. Part 2 is already linked at the end of this video, so you can continue to enjoy a fall day on the Ray Mountain.